with our very own Andy Achillea. How are you feeling, Andy, coming in today's event? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm pretty confident. Um, quite a good standard looking round. Um, seems to be quite a few decent players, so I'm definitely going to have to bring my A game today. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I've got the ability to do it. I've got the game, so nothing really to be afraid of. So is there, is there anyone you've noticed that you're com in intimidated by, or are you quite confident? Uh, I wouldn't say intimidated, no. I mean, there's obviously, you've got your different grade of dog here today. It's uh, definitely a much better standard than what I'm used to playing against. Um, but no, intimidated, no. Looking forward to it, the challenge, playing with better players, yeah. Do you have a particular strategy for the blind levels? Are you going to start off quite tight or loosen up? Um, probably just a normal strategy. I'm just going to lie low for the first few levels, I guess, not get too involved unless I've got an absolute month start. I'd be surprised if I'm playing a pot over a thousand. Um, but from then on, I think once the ante's kicking, I'll definitely be uh, changing gears, as they say. You've got quite a reputation for um, grinding a short stack. Do you think you'll be see yourself in that position later on? Well, it's <laughs> a good question. Um, I'm definitely going to stay out of trouble initially. Um, if I see the opportunities and profitable spots, then I'm definitely going to use that and exploit it in the right way. And is this one of your first GKPT events that you played? No, it's actually my third one. Um, I've not lasted past day one in the previous two, so I'm hoping to go at least till day two. Um, but yeah, my game's definitely improved since the last two, so I'm uh, pretty confident of going pretty deep. Yeah. Great. Well, I hope to catch up with you later, Andy. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Joe. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm here with Richard Wheatley, who um, recently played the London Poker Masters. Richard, had, um, how are you feeling coming into this event? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Always feel good coming in these tournaments. Uh, quite confident. Um, went out first, as you know, last time. So uh, this time I'm going to try and play a little bit more of a solid game. Um, try and stick around for a little bit longer. So definitely a different strategy coming into this one. Do you think? Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you do get good cards, you have to play them. But I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. Uh, try and play a, uh, in position more. Um, and not play too many big pots early on. I mean, these tournaments, you can't win them in the first two levels, so um, hopefully make it to the first break. That's the first goal. Do you start with a few more chips, so you think there's a bit more play involved in the first day? Yeah, certainly. I mean, you can make moves early on, but like I say, you can't win these tournaments in the first two levels, but I want to sort of get a, you know, uh, a presence on the table so that people perhaps don't want to get into pots with me. Um, early on and then if I do get good cards obviously I'll play them uh, I'm not afraid to put the chips in um, uh, <laughs> but hopefully if I you know if I do go out it'll be with the best hand this time Brilliant. I hope you get on better this time round thanks very much they've all got confidence in me thank you good luck, Richard. hi I'm here with a good friend of mine Jimmy Sutterman so Jimmy how are you feeling about today's event I'm feeling good I'm feeling ready so I, I think I can take this down and have you played any big events recently um, the last event I played was at the Gut Shot. That was a 200 freeze out. That was in August last year. And I played a bigger event in Vegas. I didn't do too well in that. But it's been a long time, Jimmy. It's been a very long time, but I'm ready. And you're feeling you're on your A game this week? Yeah, yeah. I've rested well. I, I know it's a three day event, but I'm ready. Have you been playing much online? No, no, I haven't got much time though. So you, have you been taking a break from poker or is this like your comeback, do you think? You see, I work in the environment where poker is played every day and I spend a lot of time studying players, so I think I'm, I'm there. Do you think that gives you an edge on other players? Do you think you'll get some good reads on people? I don't know, but you see, people talk about, oh, how ready you are and all that, but I feel in my heart I'm ready and I think I can do well in this. Oh, brilliant. Well, good luck. I hope you do well. Thank you. Yeah. How are you guys getting on so far? Um, I was getting very good. I doubled up early, but then I had a cooler, I had top set of aces and I lost against the flush. So I have a little bit less, but I sti still have some chips. And, and How many chips do you have now? I have around 4,000, I think. And you, Patrick, how are you getting on? Uh, I lost a bigger part in the beginning when I fought bet with Jax and uh, get shoved on on the first level. So I just marked it. And uh, yeah, won a few small pots, so I'm a bit like under the average stack, but uh, so far, all right. And you have position on him, how does that feel? It feels very nice, yeah, I just want to bust the pro, to be honest. <laughs> no. Are you familiar with each other's play? or? Yeah, we played in Bahamas together, uh, just a little, I'm not, I'm not really know anything like too much about Martin. I know he's a good player, just don't, don't really, I, I hope to learn the game today. And you did have a big result recently in the EPT, have you done recently anything else in the cash games or tournaments? Um, I'm doing quite good in the cash games, I, I got in the money at the Bahamas, so 
it's 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 a it's a good year for me. Yes. And how have you felt about this one? Were you quite confident with the field? This one, um, yeah. But players in London are generally good players, and the EPTO London actually was the toughest tournament I have played. So uh, it's not easy to get the chips, but if you play well, you it's, you can very well. Do you feel like your table draw is important? Have you found anyone around you that's given you any trouble? Um, I think we have a quite a decent table and uh, a few very good players. The draw, of course, is important. It's always better to get the easy table than the tough table. And what's your role, Patrick, on your table? Are you quite aggressive? Do you have a particular strategy? Uh, yeah, actually, I did play a few hands. Uh, maybe too loose, maybe. That's why, that's why I fall back with the jacks, actually. But uh, I'll probably turn it up a little because people pick up on this. Great. Well, I hope to catch up with you guys later on. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.